1636. I'm continuing with the RS Scout Trooper build. I went ahead on the first build, I trimmed it, I sanded it down. Today, I went ahead and cut out the, the oval part so that I can glue in the, in the top part of the helmet. And this, what this does, I glue in one side. Once I have that one side glued in, then I'll bring the other side and I'll glue the second side. He also gave me two strips, a little bit longer. I've, I've since trimmed them. What I'm going to do is, I've already went ahead and uh, heated it and bent it with some slip joint pliers. And I use this torch, just a couple, maybe three seconds at the most. So one will go here, and I try to follow it as best I can, the, the curvature. This will go here, and then the back one, I went ahead and trimmed that. That will go right back here. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna glue all this stuff in the first one, and I'm pretty much, this one I'm gonna cut it in half, where half will be glued on this side, the other half will be glued on the other side. The oval, I'm gonna glue it in and see if I need to trim some off the other side, but I'll glue it in, and then I'll, once this is glued in and the other pieces are glued in, I'll put it up and see, make sure I had it together with the tape to make sure that it didn't hit. So it, it seems like it'll fit, but just before I actually try to glue it, I'll go ahead and uh, test it to make sure that I don't need to trim any. It's easier to glue the one side down and just lightly trim the other side before you glue it down. So I'll go ahead and glue this one down. I didn't heat it up. This is just a little bit rounded. This is still flat. So I'm going to have to hold it down to make it more rounded. And then when I glue the second one, it's going to be, I'll probably end up seeing if I can get somebody to help me. But basically one will be in the hand will be in the inside, one will be in the outside. And I'm going to be pushing it together. It's, it's going to be tricky, but uh, I've done it before with the TK arm. So hopefully we'll see how well it works with the second side. I'll go ahead and glue the this one in first. Let me get my glue. Actually, let me, this one probably be better. This is my generic glue. The CA glue, super glue. The other glue I have here is this super glue Loctite. And then I actually have, I haven't used it yet. I have some Zappa Gap with the zip kicker, but I won't use that one on this one. Basically they're all the same. I always make sure that the glue is actually coming out first before I spray. So I do half of it. I'll set that to the side. And then I'll go ahead and spray the inside here. So I'm going to go ahead, I, I got it in, I'm bending it so I don't necessarily have to put my hands all the way in because it's laying in there pretty flat. Again, not 100% sure how far it's going to go in if it's the other side. Let me check real quick. I might have to trim it just a tiny bit. I can already see one problem. So now that I've done it, this is this is going kind of bowed up some. So I'm probably just gonna have to trim it just a little bit, maybe heat it up just a little bit to bow it back down before I try to glue it onto the other side. And it also looks like it's might be just a little bit too wide. So, I'll go ahead and glue these side ones in. Let me throw some spray right here. I got some excess glue. Put just a tiny bit too much glue in. That way my hand isn't keep hitting the wet glue. So now I'll do the same thing with this one. I'll just go ahead and put that one in. So just halfway. And I'll spray this out. Go it 
does not matter if it goes crooked or if I go in too much, just as long as I have enough to where this front part will glue on. And I went just slight bit crooked and I got glue on my finger. Now the second part be a little bit trickier because it's just a tiny bit longer. I'll go ahead and spray this first. It's really hard to do this and spray, hold this and spray without getting too much glue everywhere. I'm not trying to put too much glue down. So I'm going to be painting this helmet, so if I do get some glue by accident on um, one of the either half, I can sand it down lightly, go all the way from 220 to 1500, 2000, and then when I paint it, there's not going to be any scratches in it. So the least amount of scratches is what I want. So I might have to get my little cutter and I left it in the garage. Let's see how well this is going to do. So I'll probably start first up here. Just glue the front end. And then once I get this front part in, then I'll glue the, the, the middle part down. This is making it somewhat hard because it's kind of bowing up. But I'm going to try to trim that bow part out. Again, you only really need this part right here. So I'm going to trim it down pretty good to where it's not bowing up as much. And that should be able to get in there. So it's going to be just a slight bit different in the interior. Where one side's going to be farther in, the other side isn't. But once you put everything in there, you're not going to really notice it. Or if you put some kind of padding in here instead of this, I did do this one, it was okay, but it was kind of hitting me right here in the head once I put it on, so it wasn't too comfortable. I'd probably get a headache wearing that for a, a long time. When we put the chin strap in here, all you really need is foam on the top, maybe just a tiny bit in the back to keep the helmet from bowing backwards. So if we if he ends up putting foam in here, then it's, you're not going to see the, the difference back here. You won't see that. I'm going to get my cutters real quick. I'll be right back. So I got my 10 snips. I'm just going to cut out a little bit at a time until I can uh, do it myself without screwing up the helmet. filling in this gap anyways.
whole piece right here. Also, heat it up just a tiny bit. that front part in it'll make it easier for me to get the other part. Alright. A little bit of glue. A little bit of spray. Now the fun part, lining these two up. Stupid tape to make a mess in there. Alright, so there's the front lined up. So now I can throw some glue in here, spray in there, and then just slowly, very slowly, push it together. Just like that. It's just sticking out just a tiny bit right here. Probably gonna have a mark once I glue it together. I might actually have to come in here in this back part and bend this one just a little bit. It's kind of sticking up. Once I put this, these two together, it's kind of sticking up just a little bit right here. So once I put my ABS cement in here, you know what it is? I think they're. Like they were touching, they might have overlapped. Just take it off just a tiny bit. Bondo right here. Either that or I'm just going to glue it here and then I'll throw some glue in there and then push down on it to get it to close up just a little bit. Either that or I can just go ahead and once I glue this down pretty good, I can pop this back off and maybe it might be just a tiny bit overlap. Alright, let me throw some in here. Okay. Just a tiny bit overlap. Could maybe heat it up from the inside to see if it'll bend back in. Alright, so now I'm gonna come back here. Have the 
top come down so they line up. And work my way back. Again, if they're not perfect, doesn't matter. We're going to throw some uh, ABS paces and Bondo in here. I'm just doing a little bit at a time now. here that's up again I can try to throw a little bit of uh, super glue in there and then push it down but all in all what I really wanted to do is get as little bit of a gap as possible in there so that uh, when I go to fill it in and then sand it I'm not having to fill in a, a big gap so now I'm going to do this last part here Throw some glue in here. Throw some spray. The spray is running out on me. quite a hundred percent straight with each other but it's it's not bad so now back here there's just a little bit of a gap from uh, where the lines were so once I get this glued in just a little bit better back here then when I sand it down I'll just have these two lines meet up so not only am I gluing from this inside piece but I'm also going to be gluing, I'm sorry, from the outside, I'll be gluing from the inside also. Throw just a tiny bit of extra glue on the inside on the, this seam that goes down. There we go. So one thing I've learned with the ABS paste, it will um, melt. So basically the two halves that you're putting together, it will melt them together. It'll they'll form together a lot better. I've done uh, uh, episode seven. So I did, uh, I can't remember if I used ABS cement or if I used super glue, but then we just bonded over it and it started to crack, especially in the yolk part. So I didn't use any ABS paste. So I redid it after the premiere and I put ABS paste and it holds together a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. And you don't have to put a lot, just enough to where it, it just melts these two pieces together. It helps fuse them just a little bit better. I'm going to see if I can get some glue in here. got just a little bit of a raised edge right here a little bit of a raised edge right here but uh all in all again it could be fixed once i abs paste this i'm gonna sand it down so i have all the way around in the inside i have this strip i have the, the big old oval and then the strip up front so once i do abs paste it there's a few areas here that the strips in the oval line up pretty good here there's just a tiny bit maybe three centimeters or millimeters of uh, space in between so when I put the ABS paste it's gonna it's gonna go through so I'll probably just pack it in here first let it dry and then come out on the outside and then pack it in more that way it doesn't drip in and with the strip in there it helps so it stays in that area so I'm still debating on if I want to Pop this one off, maybe just try to glue it down. I think maybe I'll just glue it down. 
it's a, it's a good sized ridge right here. So pretty much all in all the rest, there's a few little spots here and there that they're not quite lining up 100%. But uh, this is the worst one, the rest are, are good. So I'll go ahead and keep that there. I might just pop it off and then maybe heat the bottom strip up just a little bit so it maybe uh, maybe when I heated up the other one it bowed or something it, it might have uh, one side might have been higher and it made it pop out more. So I'll, like I said I'll just get a little screwdriver if I can. If not I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just glue it down as best I can and then uh, I'll go ahead and put ABS paste all the way down. Let it dry for a day and then just sand it. That's going to be the longest part of doing this is just the ABS paste sand, ABS paste sand. I want to try to get it filled in as best as I can so when I do do the bondo, the bondo is just filling in the whatever little air pockets will get with the ABS paste and it's still kind of melting. I might have to throw a little bit more. It's kind of a more acetone than ABS paste or um, um, just ABS strip so I'll probably throw more in there to make it more of a paste instead of a liquid but this this is all in all this is good now we'll do the face well actually I have to let me see I'm going to take the tape off real quick and what I kind of want to do is mark on here where I want the face with a pencil, where I want the face at. So I want to try to get this edge as close to the end as possible. And uh, some people, depends on who you talk to, some people will say it should be straight. Some people say that just leave it. So I'm gonna, at the very least, bring it up here so when I do glue it down this edge is, is right there this edge is on the edge of the face so I'll go ahead and get it up here so I can at least mark the line with my pencil that way I have some kind of area that I know that's where I'm going to glue the face down okay. so also on this piece so I have them both up there I only want there it is I really only want Basically, I just want to strip in here. I don't want it the whole the whole way. As you can kind of see inside it'll have just a tiny bit of a gap. So I don't want it um, all the way. And what I'll probably do, because I want to fill that line in before I put the face in, it's going to be a lot harder to try to fill this gap in. What I'll do is I'll glue these two together with a piece probably what this is for although you think about it probably cut this out I'll put this in there and then that'll be pretty much where you line up the face that looks pretty close to where I need so I'm going to make it more round up front instead of squared off. With it being round up front, and I just got to barely round the bottom off here. Actually, I'll probably we'll bring it down here because once you put the face on, I'll go ahead and cut this bottom part. Put it on here, put the face on, and see if I get to cut that top part more than likely. Yeah, it 
should be fine. So I'll just go ahead and leave it like this. I won't glue it on right now because I want to sand this down, sand this down, sand those sides down. Because you're going, going to see this, it's going to be in the inside, but when you lift it up, you have the visor up, you won't necessarily see it. You won't see it from this side right here, but I still would much rather have it sanded down and looking nice than uh, just throwing it on there um, all jagged with the edges jagged. So I'll take the tape off real quick. So with this one, I've already sanded everything. So these two are just ready to go on. So I'm gonna quickly sand this, my belt sander, I'll be right back. Okay, it's all done. Now I'm just getting rid of the little pencil line that was on here. I'll get ready to glue it down. And also all of these, there's a rough edge and there's a smooth smooth edge. I'm just gluing the smooth edge down. I'm sorry, the rough edge down, the smooth edges out. So I'm basically just gonna keep it lined up, spray, glue, put it together, and I'll just do halfway. Okay, that's in there. Now I'm gonna keep the spray on this one. I'm gonna glue this one. And I'm just gonna line it up. Okay, and there I go. Nice and you'll, you can still see the line, but it's nice and uh, straight right here. I did notice when I put it on that it kind of hits just a tiny bit. Get in the hole. Now it's not going to go on because it's hitting. So like I was saying, I, oh, I know why it's hitting because that one part popped out just a little bit. So I do know that I have to trim this just a tiny bit. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. I'll trim it and then I'll sand it another day. hitting so I still need to trim just a tiny bit off 
just a tiny bit more and then because what we don't want is once this is painted for this visor to hit we don't want that sure i could make the holes in here bigger but it's easier just to have this done correctly there not quite just needs a little bit more right here not much so so now those two are on again if I wanted to I could glue it on but I don't want to glue it on just yet because I want to fill in this the hole in the back right here before I glue the face on because it's going to be just a tiny bit too hard to get in there it'll end up messing up the face so this is all I can do for today Tomorrow, um, I'll go ahead and start doing, I'll fix a little bit of these bumps as best I can, and then I'll go ahead and start putting the ABS paste. I still, like I said, I still need to mix the ABS paste, a little bit more ABS strips in there, and basically stuff like this. You just put little slivers, cut it down, and just throw it in there, and it'll turn into a paste. All right, thank you.